Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time today with another episode about micro SD cards. I want to compare these 10 high-end micro SD cards when it comes to the read and write speed. Actually, I'm only holding seven in my hand for those counting because there are three more, but they simply do not fit in my hand anymore. And next to that, there are two more episodes, one extreme durability test and another one where I explain all abbreviations. You can find all three episodes together at tomstechtime.com slash micro SD together with product links pointing at all 10 cards. But right now, let's compare the top speeds and find out which one is the very best of the best. Stay tuned. Don't forget to leave a thumb up and a subscribe to never ever miss any of my upcoming episodes. Stay tuned. All cards taken to the test are high-end 4K-ready microSD cards. They all have a Speed Class 10 and a UHS Class 3 rating, but next to those specs they are pretty different. Let me introduce the competitors. Zandisk enters the race with its fastest microSD card manufactured for pro users, the Zandisk Extreme Pro. The manufacturer claims its read speed to reach a maximum of 95 megabytes per second, while the max write speed under the best circumstances should be able to reach the 90 megabytes per second mark. Again, the speeds named are ideal numbers only and we might get way slower results during the actual testing process. The second card is the Zandisk Extreme with a maximum read speed of 90 megabytes per second and a maximum write speed of 60 megabytes per second. Next off is Transcend with its ultimate line microSD card with a maximum read speed of up to 95 megabytes per second and a maximum write speed of up to 45 megabytes per second. Samsung is fourth in line. The Pro Series microSD card should from the packaging be able to reach a maximum read speed of up to 90 and a maximum write speed of up to 60 megabytes per second. Sony comes next, offering a maximum read speed of 95 and a maximum write speed of 90 megabytes per second. Sounds pretty promising again, I'm pretty excited if the card can keep this promise. Kingston is the sixth competitor, promising a max read speed of 90 and a maximum write speed of 45 megabytes per second. The Panasonic microSD card enters the race without giving us read or write speeds, but of course it's a class 10 UHS class 3 card as well. Toshiba's Pro Line microSD card promises a maximum read speed of up to 95 and a maximum write speed of up to 80 megabytes per second. Verbatim ends the line of well-known manufacturers with its card promising a maximum read speed of up to 90 and a maximum write speed of up to 45 megabytes per second. Finally, a cheap microSD card manufactured by a company named Patriot enters the race allegedly offering a maximum read speed of up to 90 and a maximum write speed of up to 45 megabytes per second. We now know the competitors and the ideal values. Everyone who has ever purchased a car for its low consumption value knows that numbers given by the manufacturers themselves are as trustworthy as the weather forecast. The first of two tests was simple. I used an external USB 3.0 card reader, plugged in a microSD card and ran several programs to measure the actual read and write speeds. The results were really interesting because some cards were miles away from their promises while others did even better than promised but I as well wanted to see how the cards behaved under normal circumstances and I therefore took a 4.1 gigabyte video file that I found on my hard disk drive and copied it to the microSD cards. Again, I was measuring the writing speed, which is a lot more important than the reading speed and I took the times. Right now, I don't want to keep you in suspense any longer. Here are the results. The slowest card with really disappointing speeds is the Kingston microSD. It reached 75.55 megabytes per second during the read speed test, which is fine, but the write speed was limited to a maximum of 37.7 megabytes per second only. Copying the 4.1 gigabyte file to the card took 1 minute and 24 seconds. On the ninth place, again with a pretty poor result, we find Panasonic, again a well-known brand. The max read speed I was able to measure was 78.33 megabytes per second, while the write speed was limited to 47.43 megabytes per second only. Copying the 4.1 gigabyte file took as well 1 minute and 24 seconds. Of course, the card is good enough for 4K filming and taking photos, but the chance of having faulty footage with drop frames is pretty high, as well as taking JPEGs or RAW photographs in burst mode could take both cards to their limits. The next card in line is the Sony microSD. What's wrong with all the big brands today? The Sony card delivered a maximum read speed of 78.25, which is even a little slower than the Panasonic one, but with a write speed of 51.72 megabytes per second. 
Copying the test file took 1 minute and 23 seconds. On the 7th place, we find, and this is really amazing, the ZanDisk Extreme card, of which I thought it would perform a lot better. I was able to achieve a maximum read speed of 72.34 and a maximum write speed of 52.45 megabytes per second only. Copying the file took a horrific minute and 27 seconds, the slowest cards of all. Amazingly, our cheapest card manufactured by Patriot made it to the 6th place, not behaving awesomely, but leaving big brands behind. I was able to measure a maximum read speed of 76.23 and a maximum write speed of 53.46 megabytes per second, while it took 1 minute and 23 seconds to write the 4.1 gigabyte video file to the card. We now talk about the top 5 microSD cards. I cannot recommend choosing one of the others, as the pricing is just too close and the performance difference noticeable. I was a bit upset when I found out that the Transcend Ultimate card was on the 5th place only, as I really used to like and work with the Transcend cards a lot back in the days. I was able to measure a reading top speed of 77.77 .77 and a maximum write speed of 54.1 megabytes per second. And copying the test file took 1 minute and 23 seconds again. It seems that we still have not found a card making a huge difference yet. But the Verbalim card is the first company to build a card that really makes a difference and therefore is my number 4 micro SD card. It reads with a speed of up to 69.15 and writes with a maximum speed of 64.07 megabytes per second, which really fastens the copying process. It only took 1 minute and 4 seconds to copy the 4.1 gigabyte file to the card. The third place goes to Samsung with its Pro Series card that reads files with up to 77.56 and writes files with up to 65.54 megabytes per second. Copying took 1 minute and 3 seconds. My favorite card made it to the second place, as it is pretty affordable, but really fast. I measured 78.66 megabytes per second when checking out Toshiba's maximum read speed and 73.28 megabytes per second when testing the write speed. Toshiba's card is the first one that needed less than a minute to transfer the 4.1 gigabyte file. 54 seconds only. Toshiba's microSD card is my clear recommendation for everyone who wants a safe, fast and affordable card. Pros with a bigger budget might choose the fastest of the cards though, the Zandisk Extreme Pro that delivers a maximum read speed of up to 79.66 and a maximum write speed of up to 78.17 megabytes per second. Copying the 4.1 gigabyte file took 49 seconds only. Think of writing big or intensive files to the card or copying large files to the computer. You will really save a lot of time when choosing a faster card. Links to all cards tests that can be found on www.tomstechtime.com slash microSD. Now that we finally know which of the microSD cards is the fastest, we want to take them to the test. There is a test, I'm going to throw them out of the window, I'm going to put them in the oven and much more. Check out the video at tomstechtime.com slash microSD to find the perfect microSD card for your needs. Stay tuned, don't forget to leave a thumb up and don't forget to share this video.